Hi everyone, this will be a demonstration of how to give PO meds. So before I even start the process of pulling the meds, giving them to the patient and checking them, I need a good understanding of the nine rights of med administration and the three times that we choose the pill. So the nine rights are right patient, right med, right group, right dose, right time, right documentation, right to refuse, right to know, and right use. So each time I'm checking the med, I'm going through all of those nine rights in my mind. And it's also important to understand that we have to check each medication three times before we give it to the patient. We're going to do that in the med room as we're pulling the medication out of the med dispenser machine or the med cart in a quiet place as we're preparing the medications before we go in the room. And then finally at the bedside right in front of the patient. So, um, for this demonstration, I'll say that I am giving uh, three 8 a.m. meds to my patient. So I'm going to use this tablet as my um, MAR because most likely you will see a computerized MAR. You may still see paper, and in that case, it will just be a piece of paper, but for the most part, it's going to be computerized. So before I uh, pull the meds, I'm going to look at my uh, medical record and take a look at my patient's name why they're here, their past medical history, and what medications I'm giving them this morning. It's really important to understand why the patient is on the medication. So for this demonstration, we'll say I'm giving 40 milligrams of protonics. This is a proton pump inhibitor that helps decrease gastric, gastric acid secretion. Um, so we'll say this patient has a history of GERD or a peptic ulcer, or maybe he's on it for GI prophylaxis while in the hospital. I'm giving 325 milligrams of Tylenol. Um, we'll say that he has some type of arthritic knee pain and he requested some Tylenol. And we'll also say that I'm giving two milligrams of Coumadin. And Coumadin is an anticoagulant used either for clot in the body or to prevent clot to stay atrial fibrillation. So I'll just make sure that his um, either diagnosis or past medical history matches up with these meds. We'll say that they all sound appropriate. And then I'm just going to go through and make sure that there's nothing I have to check um, for a parameter before I give these meds. So um, that an example of that would be, say, if you have a cardiac med where um, you have to check a blood pressure or a heart rate, uh, an electrolyte where you have to check an electrolyte level, that sort of thing. So for my protonics, I don't need to check anything. For my Tylenol, I'm going to ask, ask the patient's pain level just to ensure that it's a, an appropriate dose and medication for the patient. And for Coumadin, of course, I'm going to check my INR. So I'm just gonna go into my medical record here. I see the INR from this morning was 1.7. We give Coumadin to increase the INR, so um, that is appropriate. And that is what the physician ordered based on this morning's INR. So that sounds good just for a, a basic review of the medication. So now I'm gonna go into actually um, taking them out of the machine and giving them. So um, I have my pills in my pa labels packages here. So I'm just gonna take them out of the machine and um, just make sure it's the right med. You, you can never trust that the machine is going to give you the right med, right? Um, things get mixed up. So I'm first I'm pulling out the protonics and I'm going through all those checks. So this is the right med, it's protonic, it's the right dose, 40 milligrams is the pill. So I'm giving it PO. It's not expired. I know I'm going to give it to the right patient. I have um, the right reason, all those things. So that's my first check of my first med. Then I'm going to get my Tylenol and I'm going to go through all those same things. I have the right med, the right dose, the right group, it's a pill, it's not expired. I'm giving it for the right reason. That's my second med. And lastly, I'm giving my Coumadin, right med, right dose. I have a tablet here. It's not expired. Um, and just checking all of those things there, it looks good to me. So that is my first check. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go to a quiet place to do my second check of all of these meds. I like to park my computer right outside the patient's room. And I use this check um, to kind of get things in order and prepare things if I need to. So say, you had to pour a liquid medication into a cup, you could do that. Um, 
but any pills we leave in the package until we give them right to the patient. So I'm gonna just go through the same thing again. So I have my medical record here, and I'm just going to uh, look at my protonic. I have the right med, the right dose, the right group. It's not expired, and it matches exactly what I'm looking at on my MAR here. So I'm just going to line that up here. My Tylenol, um, I have 325 milligrams. It's the right med, right root, right root, not expired. I have the right patient here, and that will be my second one. So I'm just going to get that in order here. And then lastly, I have my Coumadin. It's the right dose, right med, not expired. I'm giving it to the right patient at the right time. I'm picking right time for all of these as well. Um, so that one is all set as well. I also think this is a really good time um, to click into your medical record and just to double check those parameters. So um, I'm just gonna look at my patient's lab results from this morning, make sure I have um, an appropriate INR for the Coumadin, which we do, I see that it's 1.7. And this could be a good opportunity to go into your vital section sign of your chart, just to make sure that, say if you're giving a cardiac med, um, you have a, the right blood pressure and heart rate to give the cardiac med. Okay, so I'm just going to gather what I need. So I have a little glass of water for my patient and a cup to put the pills in. Um, I have my pills. Um, I have a scanner that comes with my computer here to scan the barcodes, um, and I'm ready to go into the room. So I'm just going to knock on the door, um, wash my hands, introduce myself um, if the patient doesn't know me already, and I'll say, hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm here to give you your 8 a.m. meds. Is this a good time? And hopefully the patient will say yes. Um, so um, you can go right in. I think it's a good idea to, to really start um, with that patient identification. So I'll say, can you please tell me your name and date of birth? I'm going to scan the patient's bracelet and most importantly, check on your medical record that it is the right patient. Um, there probably will be a warning, some type of pop-up if it's the wrong patient, but it's really good just to get your eyes on that it's the right patient. Um, so then in that, I like to say, this morning, I'm giving you your protonics, your Tylenol, and your Coumadin. Do you have any questions for me right now? And I always say, you know, we'll go through them one by one, but do you have an idea of why you take these? I also like to ask, do you take these at home? Are any of these new? Um, just to make sure that you're, you're educating the patient. You don't ever want to just hand someone a cup of pills and not tell them what they're taking. And the patient says, yes, I take these at home. I'm pretty well aware. So then you're gonna go on and do your third check. It's the same as the first and the second. I kind of like to speak it out loud um, so the patient can hear me um, go through the med and it gives them an opportunity to ask questions. So I'm going to um, take my 40 milligrams of protonic. Um, it's a pill, it's at the right time. It's not expired. I'm gonna scan my barcode. And now I can open up my package and I'm going to um, put it in the cup for my patients. Then I'm gonna um, go to my next medication. I have 325 milligrams of Tylenol. It's a pill, it's the right time, it's not expired. And this is where I'll say, um, oh, the nurse aide told me that you had some knee pain. Could you describe it for me and give it a rating on the scale of zero to 10? I'll ask him which knee it's in, if it's unusual for him or if it's um, kind of run-of-the-mill pain that he has at home. Um, and I'll say, you know, does Tylenol usually work for you? And he'll say hopefully something like, I take Tylenol every morning for my left knee. I have some old arthritis. It's like a three out of 10. Um, so I'll make sure that I have done all those checks. I will scan my barcode. And um, sometimes right in the medical record, you can document the pain. Um, but if not, I'm just going to make a mental note to document that right after. Um, and then I'm going to open my Tylenol package, put it in my cup, so it's ready to go. And then lastly, I'm going to check my Coumadin, and I'll say, I have two milligrams of Coumadin for you this morning. You take this for your atrial fibrillation, right? Do you take this at home? He says, yeah. I'll say your INR was 1.7 this morning. I can click in my record to do another triple check to make sure it's um, a level from this morning. Um, I'm making sure it's the right med, right dose, right route, right time. I have the right patient, it's not expired. I'm going to scan this one and I'm going to take this one out and put it in the cup. 
So um, then I can ask the patient, um, are you in a comfortable position to take these pills? Do you need to sit up a little? Um, I brought you some water. Is that okay to take your pills? He said, sure. Um, so I help him sit up a bit. Um, and I say, you can take them one by one or um, you can take them all at once, whatever you prefer. I hand him the pills, hand him the water. He throws them all back. I make sure that I see him take the pills and swallow them. Um, you never leave pills on the bedside. You never hand off pills to a family member to give to the patient. It's your responsibility. Your name is on these pills that you're giving them. So you have to have the responsibility to make sure that the patient swallowed them. So I watch him swallow them. I'm going to click document in my computer before I forget. Um, I can pull up my pain screen real quick, put in my pain level um, for the Tylenol, make sure everything is documented here. Then I'm going to turn to my patient. I'll take any trash he wants me to throw away, make sure he has his call bell, he can reach his phone, his bedside table. If he needs a bed alarm, make sure the bed alarm's on, make sure he's comfortable, ask him if he needs anything, um, tell him I'll be back to check on him and he can ring me whenever he needs anything and um, go on to my next patient. I will leave the room, wash my hands um, as I leave and get ready to do it again for another patient.